Somebody give me a guess of what that means. Yes, number 17. I can give you a clue. The clue is, num is W. Yes, the clue is W, WordPress. Can you tell me what 17 means in the in WordPress? 17, number 17, yes. No. <laughs> Weekly, okay. Someone else? Yeah, updates. Okay, so this is the thing. Every second, 17 posts by WordPress go up worldwide. Every second, 17 posts by WordPress go up. All right, then we have another one. I, I'm skipping 14. Then we have that. <coughs> Who can, the number of? <laughs> Running on WordPress CMS, yeah? Ah, great. So let's go to myself. When I, when I gave out my presentation, the guy said it's like a, a biography. Yes, it is. So my name is Oduor Jagero. Oduor is my witch name. <laughs> <laughs> it's my witch name. <coughs> In Luo, <coughs> you are named according to when, the time that you were born. Oduor is midnight. Midnight is for witches. <laughs> 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 <So laughs> but that is not the only thing about the, the Luo word, Uduor. Every Luo, the Luo believe that the name that you're given, the first name, is, you, is the soul. What drives you, what puts your, put your path, that makes you unique. They, like there is no, what's your name, sir? Mwanza. So like, you will never find Mwanza anywhere. So the Luo believe that that name is the force that drives you. So that is the force that drives me. I have the colonizers' names that were given to me by my father, <laughs> Ken and Anthony, <laughs> <laughs> which, which I don't use, unfortunately, for, 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 for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So, so now, uh, <coughs> what we will discuss is my life, my writing, and uh, how it all goes back to the topic. And the topic is WordPress and business, all right? WordPress and business. And I want to, so this is about me. I'm the lead CMS Africa Summit, and then I run this organization co called Core Media, and then I am a writer. <laughs> and they are telling me that I've used only 4.7% of my brain after doing all these things. <laughs> <laughs> I am not lying. <laughs> so don't, 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 these things are a lot. No, 4.7% <coughs> of my, so this is CMS Africa. CMS Africa is an event that was started about six years ago. Uh, it hopes from one city to the other in Africa. So the last CMS Africa summit we had was in Kigali. Uh, March this year. Before that, we were in Abuja, Nigeria. Before that, we were in Kampala. And then, this, and then uh, before that, we were in Nairobi. And next year, we are going to Cape Town. All right. So those are some of the pictures. Uh, that's Kigali. That's Abuja. Next year, we are going to Cape Town. That's my company. And I am also a writer. Now, I have written four books. One is called... Uh, why the Hospital Corridor is White. It's a novel fiction. Uh, the other one is called The Ghost of 1894, this one. All right. Uh, and then uh, the other one is True Citizen. I wish I could talk about them, but I can. <laughs> so True Citizen is an urban fiction about the story of a, a conductor, a mat driver who falls in love with the wife of a traffic police officer. <laughs> 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 you know how that ends, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> right? And then uh, uh, that's true citizen. And then we have uh, 
these two books are a bit, uh, are a bit, a bit, a bit sad. So this one follows the story of, uh, there was the genocide in Rwanda in 1994, right? Where about 100,000 people were being killed per day. So that was in 1994. And my book is called The Ghosts of 1894. I went to Rwanda and stayed there for about eight months, researched the book, 100 years before the genocide, to, to 1894 in Germany. So that's one of the reasons why I don't have Ken as my name. And then uh, we have... Uh, why the Hospital Corridor is White is a book about uh, a young woman who is a, <coughs> who is a, who is a, who is a what? What's the, what's the word? Neurosurgeon in Nairobi. And then she's diagnosed with cancer. So the story follows her going to treat other patients while she's suffering from cancer. Then we have the last story. Uh, semicolon is about a lady who wants to kill herself, but first she has to travel the world. So she, she travels from Kenya to Zanzibar to go and kill herself in Zanzibar. <laughs> <laughs> I have a family. <laughs> so this is, the, this is the woman that I think loves me. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> and then, and then this, I think this one loves me unconditionally. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then we were laughing somewhere there. Okay. So now we are going to talk about what brought me here. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that is WordPress and business. Okay, and 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 standing here, I owe a lot of my life to open source. Everything that you see that I've talked about, I I got married because of open source. You know, <laughs> I I I had a child because of open source. I wrote books before because of open source. <laughs> All right. I am serious, <laughs> you know, it, it's that serious. And, and, and that's why I, I really love open source because open source is, well, the thing is open source is not always free, but open source is mostly free. And the good thing about open source is that if you are just, did I tell you about my story? <laughs> now I was born in the village yeah, and I'm the only member of my family who was not born in the hospital. <laughs> my mother gave birth to me when she was going to the hospital. And she told me that she actually gave birth to me by the roadside, by the euphobia, by the siso. And she tells me, but that's probably why your head is a bit bigger. <laughs> 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 and your nose is somehow not where it's supposed to be. <laughs> But, so, 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 <coughs> there is something else I want to tell you. Because uh, my mother, my father died when I just finished my, my, my fourth form. All right? And so I wanted to be a journalist, a writer. But then my father left me 30,000 in the account for my college education. Then my mother ate most of it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, <laughs> there was nothing to go to college. I traveled to Nairobi on faith, said that I'm going to Nairobi to start my life. Okay? And then, as you guys live in Nairobi, you know Nairobi can be a very tough place. So I knew my uncle, only one uncle, that uh, I could live with. And I knew, I stories were being told in the village that you can't just live with someone in Nairobi. It's not gonna work. So I didn't tell him that I'm coming to Nairobi. I just showed up. <laughs> it was drizzling. I remember that evening, it was drizzling. And his brother was in a school in town. And so I sh showed up and said, bro, I'm here. He suspected that I talked with his brother, who was my uncle. No, I hadn't. So I just showed up and uh, hoped that, uh, uh, that he wouldn't chase me away. He didn't. Thank God. <laughs> I stayed there for like the rest of my college life. Then I went to college. And then when I went to college, my mother died five months into my college. You know, and then I was just in this city. <coughs> this, this, this last building alone. 
We will come back to what president and business, don't worry. <laughs> I'm still backgrounding the, 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 the topic eh? to bring you to what happened. So then, uh, by the way, this story is for the people in this room that are just from college or in college or in a place where they think that they cannot make it in life, <coughs> right? And I am, because, because my life and WordPress and Joomla and everything else and open source is about, you know, telling people that whatever you are going, that's going through in your mind or in your, or in your pocket or in your house right now, it's not going to be there forever. Yeah? Thank, thanks to people who can make this change, okay? So my college was in shambles. I tried dodging the teachers for a year and did my certificate, then went, to, went for internship. But then after that, I said, well, I have to drop out. But I was bright in school, man, I was bright. I think I'm still bright. <laughs> <laughs> so I told my, my teacher that, you know what, I'm dropping out. And she said, why? I can't afford the fees. And then she uh, told me to write a letter. And guess what, I was given scholarship for three years. So I finished. I finished and, uh, and started writing. I have never been employed. I was employed for 30 minutes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> 30 good minutes, 30 long minutes. <laughs> right? So, okay, let me not tell that story today. <laughs> 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 so after leaving college, I started writing using wordpress.org to write. So I was really writing, I was writing scripts and posting them online. I was writing short stories, I was, I was writing poetry. Then I started something called Poetry Spot, something, uh, an event like this that was bringing about 600 people in a month here in the city, you know? And I was all writing it on wordpress.org, you know? And then Facebook came and I started sharing and all those things, all right? So after doing all these things and I was earning money from it, and then at some point, money dried. And I was totally broke. Then somebody came and offered me a job for 30000 per month and said, I'm taking this thing. And then uh, I remember it was one of the tall buildings next to uh, Alion's, Alion's in town. I don't know the tall building is called what? Yeah. Uh -huh. That one. So this guy gives me a job, gives me a desk. And I say, fine, let me start the job. It was a writing job, writing online. And then I realized that I had four meetings that, that day <laughs> to attend. So I said to this guy, look, I have four meetings, but I'm going to attend only one and then come back for the job. So I took my computer and said, why don't you leave your computer? I said, these things are in my computer. So I went back, we had a meeting, that guy offered me a gig and I never went back to work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, 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 the, so, so WordPress, and business, you cannot, you cannot take them apart. They're like this. Because it is through writing on wordpress.org that I earned my money for at least three years. You know, uh, I started writing my scripts and all those things. They were all on, on WordPress. So now, I want to ask, how many people do business in the house? That's, that's a lot of people. <coughs> how many people blog? That's a lot of people. How many people are web designers? That's a lot of people. <laughs> right. So, so, so let's talk about WordPress and business. And, uh, and when you talk about WordPress and business, it's, it's a bit broad. It's, it's really broad. And so that's why I crystallize it into two, into three actually. So I ask the question, are you a blogger? Are you a designer? Oh, are you in business? The funny thing about this is that they are all related. Because if you're in business, then you could be blogging as a business. All right? And if you're a web designer, you could still be blogging. All right? So all these things are tied together. So there are people who blog like as a way of life. That's their business. You know? So somebody might, wa might, might ask themselves, how, how is blogging related to business? And, and when I'm talking about blogging, I'm ta actually talking about WordPress blogging. There is blogging in, uh, in Drupal, there is blogging in Joomla, 
By the way, CMS Africa is an event that brings all these guys together in one room to talk about. We have workshops for, for WordPress, we have workshops for Drupal, we have workshops for Magento and all these other CMSs. So there are a lot of people, like I was talking to, you, uh, I was talking to someone during, during lunch break about what she does and she told me that she's blogging. And so the question is, how do I make, how do I do business with my blog? You know, how do I earn money as a blogger through my business? <coughs> well, I, I don't think it's easy to start earning money from your blog, uh, as, as to, to, to earn money as, as, as a blogger on, a, on, on WordPress, but you can. I think one of the things you have to do is to have to be consistent. You have to write like every day. You have to post. And the things that you post have to be interesting, you know? So I, I, I majorly blog on Facebook, microblogging on Facebook. And sometimes I think that if I put them in a blog, it would earn me money because I have a lot of followers on Facebook. Everywhere I go, I always blog about that thing. So I think that if, and, and, and if, if, if you're blogging on, on, uh, on WordPress, uh, there, is, uh, there, is, there are things that you can use. If you're on WordPress.com, you can use a lot of these things. Like I said, I'm not going to be talking about the practicality of these things or going into details about these things because they are already on Google. So if you're a blogger, you can actually check out Google AdSense, you can check out Chitika, you can check out Infolinks, <coughs> and you can check out Media.net. But what, what, is, what is so beautiful about blogging on WordPress.org or on .com is this one, which is a dedicated uh, uh, advertisement by WordPress. So if you have a blog, they will have their, 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 their adverts spread on your pages, right? And they share the revenue with you. The beautiful thing about that, they will share the revenues with you. I don't know the about the percentage. If you, do, if you want to know about the percentage and every how it works, you go to WordPress, uh, WordAds, their, their website, and then go to F, F uh, uh, you know, the, the frequently asked questions. You will know everything about that one, okay? <coughs> and then uh, the, the other beautiful thing about WordAds is that all the big guys are actually scrambling to have to bid for, 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 the, for the ad spaces in, on, on WordPress site. So there is AppNexus, there is, uh, there, is, there is Amazon, and then there is Google AdSense still coming there, you know? And you don't need to do anything. WordPress actually takes care of everything. You just need to write interesting materials and they will all be there, okay? Uh, the, other, the, other, the other thing is that uh, you are a web designer and you're asking yourself, how is WordPress uh, connected to business? And I think this is no-brainer, because then <laughs> all the web designers are making money. Who isn't? Who is a web designer is not making money? None, right? WordPress is, 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 is becoming a force to reckon with online, actually. And, uh, and, and that's why... Uh, it's very important to get to WordPress and, and start using WordPress because the future, I think, is WordPress. And, 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 and I want to say that WordPress actually is, uh, is working in a, very, in, a very, in a very human way in the sense that WordPress, if you don't have the money to spend, they have, they have something to give you. If you are that person who wants to spend money, they have something to give you. And that's why they have got WordPress.org and then they have got WordPress.com, you know. And I think it's, 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 it's amazing. Uh, <coughs> web designers that, that do, not <laughs> do not earn money, I, I think, I think uh, you need to earn money because it is easy. Everybody wants a website nowadays. Everyone. Everyone wants a website. And, 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 w and, and making websites has become very easy, you know? Uh, the, the idea of writing the, rewriting everything nowadays is, uh, actually there is a secret in web design that a lot of people who are not into web design don't know. And if you know those things, then it, it becomes very easy, you know? And uh, there is this gentleman called uh, George, <coughs> George Agak. So he, he's a content creator. 
he's a content creator and uh, he, ap he approached me the other day that he wants to work together with me so that when I have a, a job for web design, he can be creating the content. Uh, I, and I think it's a great thing <coughs> because most of the time when clients come to me to build their websites, they don't have branding. They only have a logo and it is only one file, which is like this tiny. They're no longer having a relationship with the, web with the graphics designer. He's lost. He, they fought, <laughs> <laughs> did not send the AI, you know, and they don't know their colors. They don't know what to put on about us. They don't know anything. They just want a website. <laughs> and I'm telling you, those, webs, those clients are marvelous. <laughs> 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 because you have to sit down with those clients and give them one, two, three, four, five and you can go to 10. And if they are good clients, they will pay for all that. And everybody walks away happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so web design has, is not just web design. I think as a web designer, you have to know a graphic designer. You have to know a content creator. And, 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 and you, know, you need to know good ones. So that as a web designer, you are not just charging web design. I mean, your quotation should be long. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> okay, let's go on. <laughs> okay? Then, then we have business. Then we have people who are, people who are now doing business. And, and, and I think that uh, the people who are, not, who are doing business are not using WordPress properly. Because... Uh, let me say something else. Uh, when you, there's a friend of mine uh, who, who who's having a web design company, and he he gets he gets he gets interns that he pay. Every three months, he has three interns that he pay. To 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 teach, to learn, and do things for him. So these guys actually write articles. If you if you are coming to work for him, you have to know how to write articles. And, and I think if you, if you are a businessman, you have to be seen to be writing things about your profession. You know, if you are a web design company, then people have to know the person designing. I was very, I was, was very uh, uh, impressed by, by this gentleman who came in front here and explained something deeply about, about search engine optimization and how Google, you know, ranks pages and not the entire website, you know. So, so, so what happens with business is that when this guy writes that as an article, then this lady who owns a brewery <coughs> would say that when people type something to do with the, uh, brewery is not the word. Let's talk, <laughs> forget about brewery. Let's say, let's say what? What can we say? An, uh, an item that is sold every other day. Shoes, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Flowers, yes. Let's talk about flowers. She sells flowers. And then, and, then, and then when somebody types flowers in Nairobi, she needs to come number one, right? And then this gentleman has written a detailed article on search optimization, you know? This lady, when she reads that article, she wants this guy to optimize the website. He's not going to get this guy, trust me. She's not going to get this guy. This guy knows nothing about such engine optimization. Why? Because this guy talks about it. So if you're a business dealing with sugar cane, write about, the, 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 the about what's good about sugar. You know, if, if, you are, if, you, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you, your business is about, uh, you know, wine, and you write about wine, so people will buy wine from you. So that is wha why it's very important for, for professionals to be writing about their profession. One, uh, it, it, it builds, your, it builds, your, it builds your, your, your search engine optimization as a company when you write. Because all those pages are ranked by Google. Every article is ranked by Google as a website. So if you write 30 articles in a month or in a year, all those are seen by Google. And then when somebody types about that business in Nairobi, you, are, you are automatically pop up. You know? So that, that, that gets you people on, on Google when people search for you. Okay? And then, and then, and then branding. 
I don't know why I chose that photo, by the way. <laughs> I have no idea how to get Okay. So, 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 branding. So, this guy is talking about doing some ropes. <laughs> I think it's the ropes or something, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's, he's doing some, you know, how to, how to build your muscle, how to do all that. And when you talk about that, people are always seeing it. Okay? And going. And, 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 and something happens that when people know you personally, for example, if you are a web designer, and then you appear on YouTube talking about web design. Then people develop a trust. There's an automatic trust that people develop with you when they see you. When they see you write, well of course, when you write an article, you, there is a picture of yours down there. Then people, people, people that then marry your business with your face. And then they start developing that trust. Okay? So that, that, that happens a lot. And then, and, then, and then the biggest thing that happens when you do that is that when you're a business and you blog, is that it now there is a lead generation. Now you start getting business. You know, so now you get so much web design work that you tell people that you know what we can't take your job. All right. So that is that is that is my that is my my presentation. <laughs> <laughs>